Hey guys, it's Lance at McV Audio, and this is a follow-up to my Pro Tools bug video. I'm going to show you how to fix the bug. At least this is a temporary fix until they upgrade Pro Tools or upgrade Yosemite, because I'm not sure where, which side of the ball the bug is on, or maybe a combo of both. Um, but basically, if you just have a session open and you hit the space bar with no audio recorded, your clock your meter, and your playback head, they gl 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 glitch. So it's smooth and then it glitches, and then it's smooth and then it glitches. Let's start it again. It glitched at two seconds. Okay, so in order to get rid of this graphical glitch, you have to go to Apple's website and download Xcode. And to be able to download Xcode, you have to become a registered developer. It's not a big deal. You just go fill out the form, download Xcode. Then you come over to the Xcode menu, drop down menu and go to open developer tool. And then you want more developer tools. This is going to launch another web page on Apple's website and you want to download graphics tools for Xcode and one of the apps in there is called Quartz Debug. That is the app that cures the problem. So download graphic tools for Xcode 6.1, install it. I created a folder just for all the Xcode apps in my applications folder. So now go to your doc. Uh, I put Quartz Debug in my doc. There it is. Now I'm running Quartz Debug. Now it's Quartz Debug has this very cool thing, which is a frames per second meter. And what this does is show you whatever app is in the forefront, the frames per second the app is, is playing back at and using the GPU. It's basically, you see the CPU meter isn't moving, that little meter at the bottom there, but right now it's averaging about 40 frames per second. Now, granted, I'm running a screen capture software at the same time, so it's probably slower than it would be without that happening. But now when I go to... A lot of people say they have to disable Beam Sync to get rid of the glitches, but all I have to do is run Quartz Debug and the glitches go away. But here's the cool thing about the frames per second meter, and this applies to a lot of different applications. If you disable Beam Sync, boom, look at the frame rate it goes way up. So basically beam sync is like a governor. It's like V-Sync in video games that keeps the game limited to 60 frames per second. When you turn beam sync off, you get faster frame rates. But again, to fix the issue with Pro Tools for me, all I have to do is run Quartz Debug. I do not have to disable beam sync and it runs silky smooth. So anyway, that's another McV audio video. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, download Quartz Debug if you have this problem. It'll get you by for now. And uh, anybody who still has issues after trying this, um, I'd like to know. So please uh, leave some comments on my page and uh, I'll have another video up pretty soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.